If you're like me, you don't want your children addicted to a smartphone, but you can see the benefits of getting them one to keep track of them, keep them safe, and give them a way to contact you. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a phone that will help you keep in touch with your kids without turning them into smartphone addicts. Today, we're talking about the Light Phone 2. This is the perfect phone for kids and teens. We're gonna cover the features, the cost, the benefits, and some of the weaknesses to this cell phone. My goal is to help you save your kid from smartphone addiction by getting them a phone that has only what they need, not all the things they want. The Light Phone has calls, text, GPS, and a few other helpful tools like a calendar and a calculator. What makes the Light Phone unique is the things that it can't do, not the things that it can do. The Light Phone can't view pictures or video, doesn't game, doesn't have emails can't get on social media. If you give this to a 13 year old kid, you can rest assured that they're not gonna be getting on sites that you don't want them to get on or just being addicted to it. Also, if your child's a teenager, they can link an email to this so that they could see pictures and videos that their friends send them via that email still. They're not completely blocked, they're at least able to partake in what their friends do, but it goes to their email, which you could share with them. That way you're actually keeping track of what they're seeing. Next up, let's talk about the cost of the Light Phone. Some smartphones are run you 12, 13, 14, $1,500. The Light Phone is $300 up front, which is pretty affordable. Considering that it has GPS and is a very reliable phone, I would say that's a good cost. On top of that $300, it cost me $15 to add it to my family line, so really, I'm not spending that much on the phone either. My uh, T-Mobile plan considers it a hotspot, so I don't even have to pay for the full cell plan. If you're thinking about getting the Light Phone, use the link below. Um, it'll cost the exact same for you, but Light Phone kicks back a little bit of money to me because I pointed you in their direction. It's a huge way to help a small creator like me stay motivated and focused in making videos to help you make healthier digital choices. All right, let's talk about the strengths of the Light Phone. First of all, it's lightweight and it's chic, it's cool. I've had two flip phones and I was always embarrassed to pull those out. Before I got the Light Phone, I tried them out and I felt lame. People would make a big deal about, whoa, you have a flip phone? What's up, grandpa? When I got this Light Phone, people started saying, whoa, what's that? Is that your phone? That's cool, man. It's so small. Um, Something about it. And I'm assuming a kid or a teen, they're not gonna wanna carry around a flip phone. They're gonna want something that feels at least cool, maybe a little niche. A light phone could be that for them. The light phone is affordable. It's got a loud speaker for phone calls and it can be used to hotspot. Overall though, my favorite strength about the Light Phone is the voice to text feature. Whenever you're texting on this little pad, I'll be honest, it's inconvenient. But they've got some pretty good voice recognition software that turns it into text very easily. The punctuation's accurate. I actually had an iPhone 13 Pro Max or 14, I forget which one, before I got this Light Phone. And the voice feature on this is better than the iPhones, in my honest opinion. Let's talk about some of the weaknesses. One, it's small, a little too small for me. I've got big hands. Um, I wish they made one about twice the size. Same screen, same features. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. Second thing, texting with your fingers is clunky. It doesn't work well. The screen just isn't very responsive with my big thumbs. Um, I'm, I, I struggle a lot to text with my fingers on this phone. The third thing, and I'm imagining for a kid or a teen, this is gonna be the biggest thing. I could see your kid or teen getting made fun of for this phone or maybe their friends thinking it's lame. Now, if they were like me as a kid growing up, I liked to be different. I really loved being the center of attention and doing something that other kids weren't doing. I listened to 70s rock in high school whenever Justin Bieber was popular. I had long hair, I was a redhead, I was in a band. I did all the things to be one of those cool kids. <laughs> kind of lame now that I think about it. Anyways, I could see a teen or a kid hating this phone because it's not a smartphone like their friends. Finally, it can't play audiobooks and it can't stream music. That's a big downer for me. If they could do, they're working on Spotify integration for this, but man, if they could put audiobooks on this bad boy, that would be so nice because I listen to so many audiobooks and I miss that deeply from my smartphone. One final note I want to say, your kid may not love the phone if you get it for them, but as parents, we have to make that choice. Are you going to do what your kid thinks is cool or are you going to do what's healthy for your child? I'm not here to be my my son's friend. I want to love him and nurture him and support him, but I'm here to guide him and help him to make healthy choices. He may not thank me as a 10 year old for the fact that I didn't get him an iPhone, but as a grown up, as an adult, when he's not addicted to screens, I guarantee you he will thank me. Sometimes we got to wait for that payoff and that wisdom for the child to really see what we're doing is for their own good. Have a conversation with your teen or your child before you get them this phone. Don't just lord it over them and force it on them. Really include them in this. Share with them your fears about them having a smartphone. Talk to them about the benefits of not having one, how it could help them focus longer and to develop a stronger sense of confidence in their peers. If you treat your kid with respect and involve them in the conversation, I guarantee you buying them this phone would not be that big of a deal to them. Guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching this far if you have. If you haven't yet, like the video, 
comment down below anything I missed, or maybe if you disagree with me, I, I read every comment and I reply to every comment. Um, I really do love your feedback. Subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, God bless you and your family. Take it easy.